Christ. So this was where I started. This place was literally the stepping stone to my business. It all started here in this tiny little 400 square foot room. 400 square feet, maybe not even. It might even actually be 350 square feet. But imagine running an entire business out of this little tiny room. It's literally gotten to the point where I have no more wall space to display anything at all. So when we started running out of wall space and uh, pretty much any place to, to kind of display anything, I essentially just started building up, right? Bought a bunch of shelving units that, that created a lot more space for us so that way at least we can move around. This is what I had originally started with. I would essentially just buy a whole bunch of jerseys wholesale, 25 jerseys, 25. That, that is literally how I started my business, from home. It was during the Euro 2012, uh, me and a couple of friends decided let's put in a couple hundred bucks and, uh, and basically from there we ended up with this. From the jerseys, I ended up going into things like hockey equipment, obviously being in Canada. Uh, probably one of the most popular sports played here is obviously hockey. But essentially the location we have has been seriously frustrating. I think the biggest hurdle and challenge of this location so far has definitely been the space. But there, there's a couple other things. As you can imagine, during busy season, these shelves become entirely filled with product. Literally to the point where I have nowhere else to put it at all. I mean, I have enough display space for like sticks and jerseys and stuff like that. But one thing I always wanted to do, I mean, when you walk into a hockey shop, you kind of imagine an entire wall full of skates, right? Well, obviously here I don't have the space to do that. So here's what I did. Now, most people are typically afraid of things like change and, and taking chances with things. And I've never really been that type of person. I've always considered myself an entrepreneur since I was really young and always knew that I wanted to do business. I, I didn't even end up going to secondary school. Not that going to university or college or anything like that is bad. It's just the fact of the matter is I always kind of had a little bit of a bigger vision outside of going to school and getting a regular job and, and, you know, doing that same old thing that maybe our parents did. Now, not to insult anybody, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just always kind of had a different mentality. Ugh. Pretty much fresh out of high school, I decided to go into finance. Now, that was great for a few years. I learned a lot of amazing things. I got into business for myself, worked for myself, had other great people that I learned things from that were around me all the time. And I took that information and I essentially applied it to, to my business that I have now. And ever since then, it's been growing and growing. I've been building up my clientele year after year. Now let me tell you, some things have been a serious struggle. I mean, there's been times where I've literally had the lights shut off in this place because I couldn't afford to pay the hydro bill. And it's it's been a serious struggle, right? But you know what? I never gave up. And now all of a sudden, the opportunities come up to, to seriously expand, to get a bigger place, get more product, bring in my full-time partner. We're making amazing YouTube videos on my other channel, Stadium Sports, and, and I'm just loving it. But let me tell you why this place really sucks and why I wanted to move and I made the decision to move within the next two months. Here was my first issue when we, when we initially moved in here. This piece of crap AC unit works only when it wants to. For example, the past two months I think the thing's been working no problem. I mean it's been hot, it's been... 30 plus degrees Celsius, it's been boiling out there. So right now I have the fan on. See, all of a sudden it wants to work. But let me tell you, by tomorrow, this stupid thing is not gonna be working and I'm gonna be just dripping in sweat and poor Steve who's gonna be in here too trying to make a video. terribly frustrating. Now because this place is so small, I've never really had an option of building like a front cash area, which is something that I would have loved to do because you know obviously it looks a lot more professional. 
I mean, I guess it's fine that I've been literally just doing transactions right here. I got the debit terminal and whatever cash box, but it's like, that's so like old school. And I kind of want to be a little bit more innovative. Yeah, I mean, like this is this is our space and, and it's worked up until now. Let me tell you, it, it we, we took the, the opportunity when this place came up. There was four of us. Two guys wanted to, to store their vehicles here. I wanted to run my business. And my other buddy wanted to start his own business as well. And up until now, it's been great. Now, there's been a few changes, obviously, in our lives. One guy is getting married. He's buying his own house. Another guy's moving out. So he's going to have his own space to park his car at home. And another buddy, unfortunately, his dad is sick. And he just can't really afford to stay here anymore and it's just not feasible anymore so I am gonna take my chances and basically go out there and take a place all on my own that's probably about the same size as this unit front all the way to back right but because it's brand new it's gonna look better and I honestly I'm just excited I'm I'm literally sick of this goddamn place like I'm I'm sick of this place so here's the back. Here's what I've had to deal with for literally, I don't know, two and a half years now, right? I mean, I have obviously we, we all share the space and, and none of us ever really have any problems, but it's like back here, there is no AC. Back here, there is absolutely no AC. So when it is hot and humid, let me tell you back here, it's crazy, crazy hot. The AC, even when it does work in the front office, it doesn't travel past this partition wall that I've got here. And, and it gets so, so hot. So I'm just like really excited to get out of here and, and move on to the next place. And uh, the place that I found is great because it's it's a lot more retail minded. It's on a major street. We get massive amounts of exposure and, and, and hopefully walk through traffic. It's going to be incredible. I'm, I'm so excited and I'm taking the next step in my life and in my business. I, I mean, I'm taking a little bit of a risk because I'm going to be paying like four times the rent that I'm paying here, but that's okay because I believe in myself. I've, I've worked my ass off. I know how to put in 14 hour days. I know how to work seven days a week. If I really need to, I can do it. Not that I want to, not that anybody wants to, but realistically in the early stages of business, especially when you're going through an expansion, the one thing you got to do is put in as much time as you need. Don't go into your own business thinking like, oh, everything's going to be gravy. I'm going to take off whichever days I want. I'm going to come in late. Don't do those sorts of things. Stay focused. Work as many hours as you can. In the early years, you're going to put in the most amount of work and you're going to get the least amount of results. Later on, if you succeed in doing those things, you will later reap the most amount of rewards and have to put in the least amount of effort. And that's worth it. That's that's the dream of owning your own business. Let me show you why the exposure here is awful. All right, so down there, that's a sort of main road. The actual main road is literally on the opposite side of the building, like three sets of units behind ours. And it's like, we get no walk-in traffic from this. There's no one around, dead, right? How can I run a retail business like this? Initially taking this place, I knew that this is what I was gonna expect. I, I knew this right off the hop. So it is my own fault. But at the time, I was only really doing things on online. I wasn't really focused on doing things locally or selling locally. I didn't, I didn't have that intention in my mind. Now I do, now I need a better spot. So that's what we're gonna do. So hopefully in a few weeks, we're going to be working out the lease agreement with the new landlord, take the new place, and it's going to be friggin' amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys what this place is going to look like. It's going to be brand spanking new. Uh, the retrofitting, what, what it actually is, is they have this old garden center uh, about five minutes away from my house. And I guess things are just not as busy as they used to be for that garden center. People, I guess, are just not buying flowers anymore, right? So what they're doing is they're retrofitting the whole building into four sets of units. And we're actually going to be taking one of them. And you know what? I'm also looking forward to doing a few more videos like this. I mean, being a little interactive. I mean, life's not always that exciting, but there's always something cool that comes up. I know for myself, the next uh, 30 to 60 days are going to be 
crazy busy. I, I already know that. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing a vacation, you know, bringing on my full-time partner. We're moving to a new space and uh, we're going to be putting out a bunch of new amazing YouTube videos on this channel and our business channel, Stadium Sports. And it's I'm just so excited to do everything. It's going to be super cool. A lot of cool new changes. Just looking so excited to the future. I mean, I've worked hard for this and I mean, you can do it too out there. Any Anybody can be, be successful and, and be their own boss and open up their own business. Sometimes you just got to take the risk just just do it right like there's there's no other ways around it if you don't ever try it you'll never know if you like it that sort of thing all right guys so that's it from me i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm getting ready to head out because it is so hot in here until they fix that stupid ac unit behind me i'm literally just dripping in sweat right now i, I feel disgusting i'm just gonna go home and enjoy the rest of the day off and that's it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you like the the type of content i'm doing i do a lot of haunted stuff i've been doing a lot of uh conspiracy theory type of stuff and just you know everyday kind of daily sort of stuff too once in a while i like to throw that stuff in I think it's fun all right guys thanks a lot for watching and take care the one thing I'm definitely gonna miss over here probably the most is getting to see all these cool cars come in and out of here we got an 86 RX-7 here we got a Lexus with a 2J over here Shad's race car his Acura Integra is back there it's uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, heartbreaking I mean we've all been here together we've all been in this together for the past two and a half years and it's it's just literally time to move on